Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Just got our latest shipment from BattleBox. Let's check it out. We are at mission 93. First item here is Axe Wax. That's coming to us from Oregon. You can use this on handles. You can also actually use it on the blade. It says apply to warm wood, metal, sorry, warm wood, metal, or leather. This handmade wax blend contains only the finest all natural and food safe ingredients. So the idea is, let's say you put this on your ax handle, um, let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes, and then wipe off the excess, and that's gonna basically be a nice protectant. Is that a word, protectant, protectorant? It's gonna protect your ax handle as well as your blades. That's our first item coming in at a, coming in at a value of $22. Next up here, we have a My Medic Hiker Medic medical kit coming in at a value of 28 bucks. So I actually have a My Medic kit on the back of my driver's side, um, the back of the headrest there. On the back of the passenger side one, I have a basically a trauma kit from Live the Creed. And so I've got, you know, just kind of basic medical stuff here with a little bit higher grade stuff and then like tourniquet, that type of stuff on the other side of the, um, of the truck. So in this, we've got, let me, I'll put this up to the screen. If you want to pause, you can look through all the different items there that are listed. And I'll just give you a quick, quick rundown. So we've got um, sunscreen, lip balm, burn gel, alcohol wipes, and then lots of different, um, lots of different um, bandages and things like that. There is a whistle included, sting bite relief. You've got paracord, some ibuprofen, water purification tab, emergency blanket. Look how tiny that thing is. That is awesome. I love a compact little kit and you can use it and then you can reseal it. Obviously you can see it's not opened yet. Um, but just throw this into a throw this into a pack. If you have a day pack that you're regularly using for hiking, or maybe a haversack you're regularly using for bushcrafting, throw this in and leave it there. Don't take it out. Check on it once a year, once every six months to make sure you can you know refill anything you've used. But if you do that, then it's always there with you, and you're not like remembering to, having to remember to put it in every time you go out into the woods. Put it in there, set it, and forget it. So, twenty eight bucks. Having a good med kit is. Just awesome, a significant amount of the trouble that happens out in the woods comes because people overestimate, overestimate their abilities or because they get into a situation that with a little more medical help or training, they could have you know gotten themselves out of relatively safely. So having a med kit, huge, huge deal. All right, next up valued at 32 bucks, we have the Uberlieben six inch fire steel. Now it's come with a striker as well. You can also see this thing has six sides. So it's not rounded. That makes, you know, basically you can strike down the, uh, strike down at the, on the angle a little bit more easily as opposed to um, on a round one. Sometimes it takes a little bit more effort to get it, to get the right angle with your, uh, with your striker. This is valued at 32 bucks. I think that's probably accurate um, for what they're charging online. That is a lot of money for a fire steel because you can get this size one from you know generic company online for it's probably significantly less than 32 bucks i've dug around on the internet in the past looking for them so it is a bit more expensive um this is a good company uber uber lieben um i have a little bit of experience with them but from what i've seen they make a very good product so maybe it's worthwhile to invest more money i think we're paying a little bit for the name here honestly you know if they threw in one that was worth 15 valued at 15 bucks and it was a six inch fire steel that'd probably be just as good but you're paying for the name i'll be interested to hear what you guys think if you've used these if you got it in this month's box or if you've had these uh products that you've ordered you know like on your own let's hear in the comments are these worth to pay over 30 bucks for a fire steel seems like a lot for me but let's hear your thoughts all right next up valued at 48 dollars is another one from Uber or Uber Lieben. And this is basically a, uh, a stove that you can build. And uh, yeah, it comes in this very cool little canvas bag. I was trying to tear it open, but there's no way to do that. So let me get out a blade, cut this open. We'll put it together and show you what it looks like. All right, so there it is out of the, uh, out of the bag. Open it up here. It is hook and loop, so you can hear that. And then it's basically a bunch of small pieces that, let me make sure I got them all, yep. So that's what it looks like. And then I'm gonna assemble it. They basically just slide into place. Whoops, drop something there. But you can see those little kind of hooks. One hooks down, one hooks up. Then you've got a base. And uh, yeah, let me put it together and I'll show you what it looks like. Just a heads up, it does come with this protective kind of plastic coating on it. So you're just gonna peel that off like so. Relatively easy to do. It does get hung up a little bit, but basically it's gonna come off and reveal the metal underneath. 
All right, so it definitely took longer to remove all that plastic wrap on it than to actually put it together. But that's what it looks like when you put it together. There's looking down in, there's your grate on the bottom. So they're basically those little, these little hooks all linked together on the sides. Very simple to do. And then you've got this as well. And this kind of cross beam you can put in there on the top so you can basically support something. If you have a big pot or a pan, it can go right on here and you know, you're feeding it in here, the flames are coming up. So that's gonna heat it or you can put this guy on top. So these are great. Um, I have one of these, actually, I think I still have it from Emberlit. Super lightweight, but efficient at, um, efficient at cooking, you know? So as long as you've got sticks, twigs, things like that around, you can definitely cook over these, whether it's a smaller pot or a bigger pot. So great product. Again, I think in part you're paying for the name, um, but let's see longer term if this is a great product and these guys at Uber or Uberlieben are making a great product, then maybe it's worthwhile to pay for it. So that's our next product. Our next product is from MTN Bonded. So I think it's Mountain Bonded, probably United by Nature, right there. So you get a uh, get the little screwdriver. Looks like we got a couple screws in there, and then here's what the product looks like. It does come to you wrapped up. That's good. All right, so this is the Skatchet. As you can see, it comes with the leather sheath. There's your belt loop. I gotta read it here because I keep getting the words confused. But it is a Skinner, a hatchet, a hammer, and a ripper or gut hook. So. There's your sheath, like I said, unpop this and then draw it out. So obviously you can see there's a blade there. You can sort of use it like an ulu. You can see there's your hammer portion. There's a hole there. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. You've got kind of a gut hook section there. Um, it's I think it's too big to be a gut hook really, but you can do, you know, cut smaller things with that. Um, the idea is that you could hook on something and pull through. And then it does come with this uh, screwdriver and a couple screws so that if you do fashion a, um, I guess it would be this way probably, right? Yeah, this way. Fashion a handle, you can put a handle through there and then put a screw in on both those sides to keep it attached and now you've got the hatchet. Oh yeah, that if you look inside there, it looks like it's threaded, but it looks like it's, it's actually not threaded going down. It's just got some of those um, ridges in there to get more grip if you do turn it into the hatchet portion of things or the hatchet, hatchet style tool. So conceptually, it's cool. It's definitely really hefty. Um, in the information there, they say that basically these are people are picking these these types of products up at like a um, estate sale or on eBay. But that M M T N bonded made the uh, made their basically modern day version of it. So cost for this guy is eighty bucks. Definitely a unique tool. Um, it's got some heft to it. So if you throw it in your bag, you know, be aware that it's going to add a little bit of weight. Um, I tend to be a little bit skeptical about multi-tools that have a hatchet as part of it because that's such an aggressive use. So as you're hitting it, it's very likely things are gonna come loose. So I do like the fact that they include that little screwdriver and the screws to keep it more attached. Um, but I'll be interested to check it out. I do know that BattleBox and uh, Curran has made, um, has made some videos about this. So hop online and check it out and uh, you know see what you think about it, but kind of definitely a unique product. Like I've said, one of the advantages of the monthly subscription box is that you get exposed to products maybe that you wouldn't have seen before. So the Skatchet from MTN or Mountain Bonded, united by nature, pretty slick. All right, last up for our knife of the month, we have a Bushcraft Survival Knife from, you can see, Holtzman, H-O-L-T-Z-M-A-N, Holtzman, right there. And the official name, again, is the Holtzman Gorilla Survival, The Bloodline. This is 1095 high carbon steel. Let's open it up and take a look at it. I will tell you that when I first looked at the, um, I first looked at the info that was on the, uh, in the little booklet there, I was like, is that an, uh, an SE? It looks like an, sort of like an SE4, maybe too small to be an SE5, but kind of something in that general category. Let me use my new tool to cut through this. Yeah, pretty good actually, pretty sharp. So open this guy up. Some paperwork in there. Oh, it does look like an SE. 1095 high carbon steel. Look at that guy. It's got it's got some plastic covering the uh, blade, so be careful taking that off. Oh yeah, look at that. You can see there's got some oil on it, but um, as soon as I looked at it, I'm like, yeah, that looks like I said, like an SE probably an SE4, something like that. Definitely pretty oily, so we're gonna have to clean that off. But it looks like uh, we got G10 handles, got some nice orange liners, got a loop for a lanyard. That's what your blade looks like. A Little bit of jumping up here on top. 
Um, handle for me, a large size hands, I would say is like, it just barely fits in there. I would say I'd like it a little bit bigger, but definitely still fits. If I was bearing down on this thing and doing some, you know, a bunch of carving or something, that would still work. Um, I tend to like to choke back a little bit. So if you choke back a little bit or kind of push your hand down on the handle, if you got large size hands, it may be a little bit small for you. But there's a look at that. Let's take a look at the sheath system. So we've got a leather snap there and then drops into Kydex, snap it down. And then you've got, is this actual blade tech on the back right there um, to, uh, you know, to attach it to your, your belt. Really nicely locked in there as far as the, uh, as far as the retention. Like I said, 1095 for your steel and they're valuing this at about 90 bucks. Cool logo. I like that logo with the, with the gorilla there. Um, yeah, cool knife, man. I mean, sometimes you get a knife and it's, it's like, mm, all right, whatever, use that. Um, if you don't have a, a, a nice kind of midsize, I would say, not it's not super compact, it's not large, midsize fixed blade, this could be a really uh, a really nice one for you. I do like those orange liners too. I think that is pretty slick right there. So again, valued at about 90 bucks, and this is the knife of the month at the Pro Plus level. And again, mission 93 from Battlebox. All right, so some quick thoughts. Uh, first thing that hits me is that I don't think there's any losers in this box. Sometimes you get a box where you're like, that's not really a great product. This, these are all seem like legit products that I would definitely use for various things. Um, I particularly like the med kit and I like the stove and I like the, um, the what do they call it? Axe wax as well. Um, the Skatchet, I'm like, eh, we'll see. We'll check that out. Maybe we'll use that. The knife is cool. Um, I've got other survival knives or mid-sized knives like that that I, uh, I do like. So we'll see if that guy gets some use or if I pass it on to somebody else. Um, Fire Steel, like I said, I think the price is a bit high for that, but still, it's a good, I know they make good products. I've heard they make good products, I should say. Um, so we'll see longer term if I really like that um, that design that doesn't have, it's not rounded, but it's got the different angles on it. So that could be cool. But overall, definitely giving a thumbs up to this box. Um, I sometimes, you know, will rate them from terrible to absolutely awesome. This is average. I would definitely put it above, above average. I would put it at good, maybe above good even. Um, Great is pretty exceptional. Awesome is really rare for me with any box just because I, I don't want to just throw that term around. This box is awesome. Like I would put this at good and it's slightly above good probably. But um, let's hear your thoughts. You've seen the products. What do you like? What stands out? What do you like not impressed with? What are you very impressed with? And uh, yeah, Battlebox Mission 93. I try to say this every time, but just a reminder, this is not a full review of all the products. Just don't have time to spend all that time on all the individual products for long-term testing more so an overview to show you what you might get in a monthly battle box. So uh, they got subscrip subscription levels from uh, a lower cost to a higher cost up to around 150 bucks. So, you know, depending on what you wanna do, you could subscribe at the different levels. And then also just the continual reminder that you will be paying for somebody to pick out products for you. If you're like, I'm not interested in that at all, then don't do it. If you're like, yeah, definitely, I'd be interested in checking it out and seeing what people will send to me, then maybe it's worth checking out. So uh, yeah, let's hear your thoughts and your comments in the comment section and let's start that conversation now. Hey, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Bureau as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.